hey guys welcome back to my channel if you haven't already like this video and if you're not already subscribed please subscribe and join the family so if you don't know already by some of my previous videos i was tested positive for covid19 or you know the coronavirus as some of y'all may know i have to be really careful with what i say on youtube because what they're doing just to um protect the spread of misinformation regarding the pandemic is they're like limiting comments and likes and things like that so i don't want to upset the youtube gods but i do want to post a video update and explain to you guys how i've been doing how i've been feeling and some of the things that I've learned during this period of isolation. So before I start talking about the five things that I learned during my time in isolation, I'm gonna like answer some of like the most pressing questions that I've gotten during this time. And the main one was, oh my gosh, what was it like having, you know, that, <laughs> but, what it was like was um i'm not gonna like say like pretty crazy but i'm also like not gonna like devalue like my symptoms because i honestly thought that i had some type of cold like i literally like ran a fever for about like two three days just you know 72 hours give or take and i personally didn't have too much of a cough but the fever was honestly the hardest part body aches and a little bit of congestion by the time i went to go get tested which like my symptoms started on a weekend i went and i got tested on a monday i was already starting to feel better and the crazy part was it wasn't any like super severe coughing and things like that like it was just minor like everything was minor thank goodness i did not have any severe symptoms because just because i'm okay does not mean you guys should not take it seriously because it is serious and it can be potentially deadly so mind you i go i get tested on a monday and then i don't find out until friday that i had tested positive and by that time like I was already feeling better like my symptoms had stopped by Monday night and I was feeling great and just getting back to my normal regular life with Zoom University so hearing that I had it was extremely I'm not gonna list some of the other things that like I did like when I had it simply because I don't want people to think like oh my gosh like this is the cure for it or whatever whatever because again like it depends on you know the person your personal genetic predisposition it's so many different factors that go into it and it's so new so you know there's always new science coming out so like I'm not really gonna go into what I did you know when i was sick to feel better simply because i don't want people to take that as misinformation and i don't want this video to get taken down but long story short you know just stay hydrated um drink a lot of fluids and follow the cdc guidelines if you are somebody who you think you got it or you're not feeling well because if i hadn't have followed those guidelines it could have been when worse i found out that i tested positive it was honestly like a complete shocker because a lot of people ask me oh my gosh like how did you respond i did not respond well like i did and i didn't because i was like oh this is great I'm feeling better but then I was like oh my goodness what if I get sick again oh my gosh how did I get it all these questions were just racing through my mind and I went through an emotional roller coaster during isolation so now I'm going to go into the five things that I learned while being in isolation so the first thing that I learned was the benefits of having a routine because I'm a very routine oriented person I use my passion planner like i'm that one girl who when she goes to class she pulls out like the five billion different colored pens and pencils to take her notes that is me and it was really crazy because it disrupted my routine a lot but because i had already had 
a type of structure to my day even being stuck in my room i was coming up with things to do and things to keep myself occupied as well as taking classes online but my biggest thing was just creating a routine for myself and scheduling okay like when i'm going to wake up and when i'm going to bed bare minimum things because mind you i could not leave the confines of my room and i could only go to the bathroom which is like right down the hall so my routine was crucial to my sanity another question that i got was what kind of things were a part of my routine like i said before scheduling when i was going to wake up and when i was going to go to bed i also made time to journal and i made time for self-care because i was going through some extreme anxiety okay and the funny thing about it was i had a nurse that called me like every day i guess i don't know if they do that like everywhere and like in every location where they have like the testing sites but i did have a nurse who she would call me daily and you know we would just talk about my symptoms and make sure that i was doing well and one of the things was i was freaking out because i'm like is my chest pain from that thing or is it because of my anxiety and i realized a lot of it was coming from my anxiety so i scheduled time before i went to bed and first thing in the morning to wake up to stretch and that to that brings me to my next thing that i learned which is number two and that's the power of positivity and positive thinking and disclaimer that does not mean that negative things will not happen to you because clearly it happened to me but all that means is to take time out of your day to find things that you were grateful for and i really had to do that because it's like okay my symptoms weren't that bad like let me be grateful for that let me be grateful for the fact that at least i have a home to shelter in place in because a lot of people don't have that and especially like during these dark times and just what i was going through being isolated i had to kind of like dig deeper and find the good things that were happening and tune into positive messages because hearing all of that and really like taking in that diagnosis was a lot the for power me. of positivity segues into my third point which is limiting my social media because that helped me tremendously during my isolation and you would think oh my gosh like you're isolated you want to be you know around people or interacting with people and i still did that which i'll talk about in a later point but i had to limit the negative news and the negative media that i was seeing because i was constantly seeing cases of oh my gosh they got it and then it got worse or they ended up in the hospital and now they're dead and it was crazy because some people in my life they were just sending me all kinds of news and things about the thing that is going on and causing this pandemic and it was scaring me and it was causing my anxiety so it's not to say i just completely turned off like my iphone and deleted all of my apps but i made sure to kind of curate what was coming onto my timeline and avoiding things that were going to add to my anxiety and limiting social media and just the negative kind of like news and all of that fear out there is something that i just really learned while being isolated and that's something that i'm gonna take with me out of that because i realize sometimes people just share things for like the trigger warning aspect of it and you know to get people fired up and it's a lot of misinformation out there and i'm somebody who like i like to do my own research and you know i like to explore these different things but on my own time and on my own terms and i realized that seeing certain things on my timeline and just like kind of mindlessly scrolling through it or entertaining it wasn't necessarily on my own time or on my own terms so that's a huge takeaway that i got and that i hope that anybody gets during this period of isolation and quarantine the fourth thing that really stuck with me and really helped me get through my isolation and that i learned was staying connected with my family i was talking to a family member at least every day at least maybe three of them each day granted now that i'm out of isolation i'm not doing that as much also because i started my zoom classes but that's something that 
I've made it like a part of my day and a goal is to stay connected because hearing all of their positive and encouraging messages and just hearing how they're doing and hearing someone else's voice was just so helpful to me because sometimes we don't value the people we care about until they're no longer with us and they're not there anymore or we're in a situation where we're all by ourselves. And that's the situation I found myself in. I was all by myself. But then I realized, truly, I wasn't isolated because I had people all over who the cared about me. The final thing that I learned during this isolation and something that some people might find funny is the value of a home-cooked meal, okay? And being able to cook your own meals because, honestly... It was really really hard for me because I'm somebody who if y'all don't know I'm Puerto Rican yes both of my parents are from Puerto Rico I will talk about that in another video but I grew up in a house that was always cooking I learned how to cook at I feel like a relatively young age so being in this isolation I could not cook my own meals I couldn't go downstairs and do the things that I normally did because I would be at risk of getting other people in my home sick and that's not something that I wanted to do so you know had to be isolated in my room and I had to rely on like other people to bring my food which I am extremely extremely grateful one of the for. first things I did when I was allowed to leave my room was go and cook myself something you know from my own hands and honestly that's something that I think overall in I guess like western or like american culture kind of like isn't really valued or thought of as much and me personally i am a foodie i love experimenting in the kitchen and i will continue to do so for years and years on end after all of this is over but i'm telling you guys the value of knowing how to cook and make your own home cooked meals and knowing like what you like and don't like is so deeply important and it is something that I will never ever ever take for granted ever again and will never complain about cooking something for myself ever again in my entire life. Being connected with family and friends from all over during this time virtually was something that honestly like kind of like fueled I guess my recovery or feeling better because I was really going through some serious anxiety being cooped up in these four walls of my room and that's something that I'm telling you guys I'm going to forever value and cherish and go out of my way to stay connected with the people I care about because they're some of the main people who got me through this rough period and this is just like a message to everybody check on your loved ones not just during this time but once this is all over and we're back to some sense of normalcy because we'll never get back to the way things were before but once things are somewhat normal again stay connected and again I am so happy that you know I didn't starve during my isolation and you know some people may think oh my goodness that was great you had people bringing food up to your door but for somebody who comes from a culture where food is valued at a much deeper level and like having a personal connection with food it was really hard for me and if you guys don't already know i am vegan on top of that and a lot of people don't realize that just because i am vegan i don't just eat grass so it was really difficult for me but again i'm so grateful for the people who did not let me starve shout outs to the people who live in my home and just work together to bring me food but it was really hard and it made me realize that that's just one of those little things in life that we take for so, granted. So that's the end of my video. If you liked it, please like, comment, and subscribe to my channel. I'm really grateful for all of the outpouring of support and well wishes that I got during this time. And I'm just so happy to be out here again, strong and healthy. And my thoughts are really with those who are suffering, you know, really badly during this pandemic. 
and it's a really difficult time for all of us but I think something that's really important to do is to focus on some of those good things that are happening in our lives and to spread a little bit more light and spread a little bit more love because together we are going to get through this okay so please share this video with your loved ones or anyone else going through a hard time or experiencing what i experienced